culture media preparation sterilization and storage like everything living microorganisms too need nutrients a source of energy and certain environmental conditions for their growth and reproduction the microbes have adapted to their natural environment to survive and thrive in a laboratory these growth requirements must be met artificially by means of culture media a culture medium is basically an aqueous solution to which all the necessary nutrients required for the growth of microorganisms have been added culture media can be broadly divided into two major groups liquid media such as peptone water and nutrient broth and solid media such as blood agar which is prepared by adding 1 to 2% agar to the liquid media besides these two semi solid media are also used which are prepared by adding 0.2 to 0.5% agar to the liquid medium though liquid media can be fortified with different nutrients and permit growth of most bacteria there are certain disadvantages as compared to the solid media first growths of bacteria do not exhibit special characteristic appearances and hence are difficult to identify and second isolated colonies cannot be separated from a liquid medium both these deficiencies can be overcome by a solid medium on solid media different microorganisms give distinct appearances in the form of colonies which are very useful in identification also solid media are indispensable for the isolation of pure cultures that is an organism can be easily separated and grown as a pure line thus helping in identification culture media can also be classified as basic enriched selective indicator and transport basic or basal media these are simple media which support the growth of microorganisms that do not have special nutritional needs examples are nutrient broth and nutrient agar these are mainly used for the preparation of enriched media for maintaining stock cultures of control strains of bacteria and for subculturing of bacteria from selective media for performing biochemical and serological tests selective media these media have certain inhibitory substances added to them which inhibit the growth of unwanted bacteria and only promote the growth of pathogenic or disease causing bacteria these media are used for sites which have a normal microbial flora to prevent the growth of unwanted bacteria overcrowding the pathogenic bacteria an example is dca medium for dysentery bacilli indicator or differential media these media have certain substances or indicators added to them which help to differentiate between bacteria usually 
by a color change. An example is McConkie's medium, which produces red-colored colonies of bacteria which are able to ferment the carbohydrate present in the medium. In contrast, bacteria which do not ferment carbohydrate produce colorless colonies. Transport media As the name indicates, these media are used to transport specimens from the patient's bedside or health centers to a microbiology laboratory. These are usually semi-solid media which promotes the growth of certain delicate organisms which might usually not survive the time taken for transportation of the specimen to the laboratory. These also prevent the pathogenic bacteria to be overgrown by commensal bacteria. An example is Scary Blair's medium which is used for the transportation and preservation of enteric bacteria. Preparation, Sterilization and Testing of Culture Media Aseptic Techniques All microbiological media should be prepared in a sterile environment employing aseptic techniques. A separate room should be dedicated for the preparation, pouring and sterilization of the culture media. Disinfect the work area. Wash hands, wear gloves, lap coat and tie your hair. Before preparing any medium, read the manufacturer's instructions on the bottle carefully. All glassware required should be sterilized. Keep the required amount of distilled water and the powdered medium ready before you begin preparing the medium. Dehydrated culture media In the preparation of complex culture media, ready-made standardized dehydrated media can be used to ensure good performance and reproducibility. They are less cumbersome to prepare and also less expensive. A minimum of five dehydrated media are suggested for a basic microbiology laboratory. Nutrient broth is a broth base from which nutrient broth, cooked meat broth, etc. can be made. Nutrient agar is used to make blood agar, chocolate agar, etc. McConkie agar is used mostly as an indicator medium for gram-negative bacteria. Sensitivity test agar or Müller-Hinton agar is used for antimicrobial sensitivity testing. Deoxycholate citrate agar is a selective medium for growth of enterobacteria like Salmonella and Shigella. Preparation of dehydrated media. Dehydrated media tend to absorb moisture from the air and are sensitive to heat, light and extreme changes in temperature. Storage conditions are usually indicated on the product label and should be followed carefully. The date of receipt and the expiry date should be noted on the label. Follow the storage conditions as indicated on the label, usually below 25 degrees centigrade in a dry area away from direct sunlight, autoclaves, hot air ovens or other heat sources. Use your stock in lot 
batch number order that is the product with the earlier lot or batch number should be opened first do not open a new bottle until the previous bottle has been emptied note on the label the date the container is first opened after use make sure the container is tightly closed and return it to the designated storage area order the medium in an appropriate size of container and according to the need of your laboratory a large container which is opened several times will spoil the medium over time discard the medium if the powder has caked if the color has changed or if it appears abnormal in any way reconstitution of dehydrated media follow instructions for the preparation of culture media given on the label of each bottle it is advisable to prepare one week's requirement only always use freshly prepared distilled or deionized water warm the water up to 50 degree centigrade to quicken the dissolution of the medium rinse all glassware with the distilled or deionized water and make sure that the vessels are clean prepare the medium in a container which is about twice the final volume of the medium needed so that the dry powdered medium can be adequately mixed open the culture medium container away from current of air or moisture wear a mask and gloves to avoid inhaling the powder and prolonged skin contact weigh the powder quickly accurately and without creating clouds of dust close the container as soon as possible pour half the required volume of distilled water in the vessel then add the weight quantity of medium mixing briskly for a few minutes pour the rest of the distilled water down the sides of the vessel to wash away any medium sticking to the sides of the vessel back into the solution this is important as dry culture media powder which does not dissolve 